Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a brand new day, a brand new show of so much information. I'm so excited to get started with you guys. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Kennedy. I'm the social media specialist here at Sewing Machines Plus and also the host of these shows during the week. We've also got Blaine, the CEO, on here on Thursdays as well, um, but you will see him tomorrow. But Let's go ahead and get started with today's show. I'm so excited. Let's see who is on today. Hello, hello. Hello, Wolf Guy, Stubby Pool. Um, we've got Bruce Bolton, Margaret Keener, uh, Marcel Hamrick, Billy Sheffield from Palmdale. It's here. I'm here in San Diego, and the weather has been so perfect. It has been so nice. I'm so grateful. And you know me. If you didn't know, you know me actually came and hung out with us yesterday. She flew out all the way from New York. We brought her out here and she was getting taught 
to run the SWF uh, multi-needle machine, which is a beautiful and amazing machine, by the way. <laughs> but she was coming on here to, or coming down, to, she went to our mission, mission Bay store, and Deb was teaching her how to use the um, SWF, and she met Blaine, and I wish I could have met you and hung out with all of, all of you guys down there, but, you know, I was doing the show, doing the show, so it's okay. But it's okay. I've got you here. We're all joining in virtually, which is awesome. But I have just a few announcements before we get started. Um, make sure you guys are tuning into our shows um, every single day. I know we've got a lot of regulars on here. They're always hanging out with me. But if you are just watching today's show for the first time, welcome. And we have shows running every single day of the week. So you never want to miss out. There's always fun and new information coming to you. Um, it's always a great time. So awesome. But... Yeah, you know, we said I wanted to see you and Kyle and Roger and Max. We were all here, but hopefully next time, if you ever come out again, we will definitely want to meet you again, of course. Um, but there's something else I was going to say, but I will just, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. But I wanted to show you guys real quick a few things that we have going on on our website and also coming up soon. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen really quick. And I wanted to show you our SoFest. So September 12th through the 16th, streaming five days, eight hours a day. It is going to be so much fun. This is directly from our website. So if you go to sewingmachinesplus.com, you can find all of this information there and um, enter the contest, find out more information about SoFest. I'm just going to show you just a little sneak peek, just a little bit. Um, we have our submissions are open and we have two contests. If you scroll through the website, this is what you'll see. Our beautiful co-hosts, Jane and Angela, they are going to be co-hosting with Blaine on SoFest. And if you saw Jane yesterday on our Takeover Tuesday, then you'll see her again for SoFest. It's going to be so exciting. And there's just some information about it, the dates and more info. And we'll have the schedule on there up soon. Here's our a little sneak peek at all of our awesome guests who are going to be coming on. Look at all of that. I won't, I won't tease it too much, but there's just a little sneak peek. But here are our two contests that you guys should definitely enter into. We have a home decor contest and a garment contest. Um, if you have done a project recently that you think may be able to win the crowd, then definitely submit a project. It is so much fun and it's always a great time to see everybody, um, you know, putting all their projects out there and seeing all the different ways that you guys get creative. And then there's a public voting. So you can share it with your friends and your friends can go on to our website and vote. I believe it's once a day. So you can go vote on your favorite, um, each of the contests and vote for your friends, share it. And it gets, it gets a little competitive. I'm not going to lie. It gets, it gets fun. So it's always nice to have a little contest going on and there's going to be some awesome prizes and don't even get me started on the dream studio giveaway twenty five thousand dollars of goodies that's all i'm gonna say just it'll be a surprise for SoFest, huh kyle it'll be good they're all over here yep 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 <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun and i hope you guys will join us you'll see me kyle roger and blaine so don't miss out and also if you come back here let me just exit out of here. But if you go to our website and it's your first time on the site, so look here and there is a summer sale little thing right here. If you click on that, that is a little form for you to put your email in so you can get emails from us. And in those emails, we do sales, we do special, you know, little things in there. And it's always just keeping you in the know about what's going on with SMP. So it's a great way to sign up. We'll put like show information on there and stuff with our retail store. So don't miss out on that. Uh, make sure you sign up for the emails and you will get some fun little surprises in there too. Some giveaways or not giveaways. I'm sorry, discounts, sales, all the, all the big things, but Yes, definitely sign up for emails to stay in the know with SMP and the crew over here. We always keep you informed, but I just wanted to show you that real quick. And now we can go ahead and get into today's episode. So we have a, this is going to be a replay of one of our shows that we've done um, a few couple of years ago, and it's Candace and Marina. But the reason why I wanted to show this video today is because if you, I've noticed with our videos and with our shows and stuff that a lot of people don't really know about sergers or they don't know the functions or the full capabilities of a serger. So I wanted to show you guys and give you some more information about the sergers because 
you know, it's always good to learn something new. And I feel like I know a lot of people on here maybe watching and they have um, small businesses or they want to start one. I definitely think that a serger is a great machine to have to have as your sidekick when you're doing projects and things like that. Not even just with the business, just with life. The serger, let me tell you, makes things so easy to get started and just to, you know, get into get into surging and try the new things because there's so much you can do. Clothing, um, people have been doing quilting with it now. So there's so much opportunity for you to grow with a serger as well. So that's really awesome. But again, I just wanted to show you guys just some more information and a little sneak peek at to what you get with the serger. And also they kind of go into some of the accessories and things like that, which is also really good. So that way you can understand like the double fold bias binder. You might not know how that works. This video is going to show you how it works. So nice little, nice little touch to learn in all the things today. But I'm going to go ahead and stop chit chatting and get started with the video, but I'll be behind the scenes. And the machine that they're showing off today is the baby lock accolade which is on our website right now. And if you are thinking about making the jump to get your serger and start surging, check out the Accolade. We have a really, really amazing bundle on there right now. And I think it's valued at over $1,700. So make sure you guys check that out. It's still going on. You still have time to pick that up, but just another great way to check out that new machine, especially when there's a bundle with it, because you know, I know machines can be a little expensive, but it's nice when you have a bundle on there to get all of the supplies that you need to get started. So definitely check that out. I'll put the links all down below and all of the links to all the products today are in the description. So make sure you check them out. And if you have a surgery already and you want some more accessories, check out the ones that they're showing off in today's video and look down in the description. We have tons of products on our website for the sergers that can help you make your life easier with projects and everything like that. So, all right, you guys, are we ready? Are we ready? Let's see. Oh, I see Vanique on. Good morning. Good morning. And Angel Alice, May Simmons. Oh, I love, I love SMP Nation over here. Always joining us. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get started with today's video. I'll be behind the scenes, and I'll be back in a little bit for giveaways. All right, you guys, have fun. Surgers. And the other thing we're going to talk about is cover hem machines. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about some decorative thread. So I've got some really cool decorative thread up here. And surgers, you can use these amazing decorative threads. They're thick and heavy threads and why don't we get the up the top camera david and we'll look at some of these so i don't know if you can see it's not a cool thread it's sparkly it's really thick this one i think this is an eight weight thread but look how thick that is mm -hmm. um this one we're going to be using this in my um burger class look at that nice look mm -hmm. how thick those threads are and then we have what's called woolly nylon or poly yarn. And it's, it, it puffs up, it's stretchy and it puffs up. And these are great for doing rolled hems and decorative work, things like that. You can see it really well on here. Oops, <laughs> we're back <laughs> up on our camera, our top camera here. You can see all these decorative threads that we used in this project. And some of them almost look like rope yeah. or string. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Yeah, nice. yeah. So pretty. So threads are all on sale this month. I think we have a 30% off of threads. And that's a great price. So you can find some of these decorative threads online. But we do have a lot of them in the store. Um, and then as well as serger thread. So uh, serger threads on sale sewing thread, embroidery thread. It's a great time to stock up on thread right now. Yeah. So really fun, fun threads. It's the best time. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about what a cover hem machine is and what a serger is. Mm -hmm. So cover hem machines do hemming. They're called cover hem or cover stitch machines. And their, their um, purpose is to do hems. All right. If you have a t-shirt, turn over your t-shirt, here, let's scrap. Yeah, this one. I was going to say this one. This one? Okay. This one is a store-bought shirt. And if you look at the bottom of your shirt, we'll do the top. You'll see that it has 
a double stitch on the bottom and a zigzag on the top. That is a cover hem and you see it's stretchy. You could do a twin needle on your sewing machine, but it never really turns out that great. Mm -hmm. And then you have what's called chain stitching. And this is a good uh, sample of chain stitching where, there we go. It's a single stitch. Uh, it looks like a sewing stitch. And then on the other side, it it's, looks like a chain. Okay. So we'll show you that too. That is done with a cover hem machine. So this one here is a combination machine. This is a serger and a cover stitch machine. So you can buy them separate or you can buy them together. So sergers, where's your little sample? Sergers, I call it construction work, right? They do edge work or constructing something, putting something together, right? On the inside of your garments, that's serged. And you open it up and it's, um, it's constructed. So sergers do this type of work. Or you can just finish the edge. With this or thing. a lot of people buy sergers because they sew their garments and then they'll finish off the uh, seams on the inside of their garments with a serger. So we love sergers. They're oh, great for knit. Yeah. But a cover hem machine is also really good. So I'm going to come around, David, and, and see if we can get this uh, machine. So this one, I've got it set up as a cover stitch. And I'm just going to hit the gas. And then, so this is set up. Usually, you'll see a table. Yeah. And I've got this set up. You don't use, you don't use a blade. So you uh, lock your blade. And that is a hem. It's a cover stitch. And on the back, you have this really pretty um, finished, finished stitch. <laughs> and actually, I've used this on the outside of my garment or with three needles. You can do one needle, two needles, or three needles with a cover stitch machine. So I'm going to show you cover stitching in the round. Some people have never done this before. We have a scissors back there. So let's say this is your garment or your sleeve. It's a circle. And I sew, no, there's a little pair, on the inside of my garment. So I'm going to be sewing around on the inside. Um, do you find the itty bitty ones? Okay, never mind. They're pink. Okay, so when I get to my... <laughs> we couldn't find them. Yeah. When I get to the beginning of my seam, I'm going to clip my stitches, my beginning stitches, and the tweezers. There we go. And then I'm going to try to match up my seam, okay? This is really tricky. If you have a clear foot or another foot you can use, it's always more helpful. <laughs> yeah, I can't see it yeah, at all. I'm you sewing can, you can. at an angle. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what you do is you lift up your foot. You, you I can pull on these um, needle threads a little bit to loosen them. And then you're going to take a flat, um, either the tweezers or your wrench, and you're gonna pull your threads out, okay? Then we're gonna cut them. And then when I pull this, all my seams go to the back. And then we can just tie this. I'm, I'm done, David. We can just tie it and you're good on the front. Uh, you can see I didn't overlap very well, but that's the idea. So this is cover for stitching in round and that little technique uh Sugar has this on her website um but that's 
why you really need a cover stitch machine. If you want to sew, especially garments or something, a cover stitch is really great. I'm going to take out one needle real quick and I'll let you chat about whatever you want. Okay. So we yeah. can start chatting about something. <laughs> yeah. So like, uh, you know, I do have two in one machine. I do have a Triumph. So, and um, I've got some students who really complain about like, oh, it takes such a long time to, you know, switch between, you know, soldier and cover camp. But let me tell you, it is not. Actually, I did do like, I did some timing because, you know, and my record is, 30 seconds. Wow. So I can actually switch, you know, <laughs> your, machines. your machines because, you know, I just literally need to, you know, put the um, blade down, right? I need to lock. replace, yeah, lock, lock the blade down. Yeah, I need to we replace change. the table and I need to put needles into the different position. That's it. And this is the hardest part, moving your needles. Yeah, yeah. and it's actually not hard once you, I mean, practice, mm -hmm. take time. Yeah, but then So you're going to be moving your needles from your overlock position uh -huh. to your cover stitch position. Yeah, but it's not hard mm -hmm. at all. It is not hard. Right. So I'm going to do a chain stitch now. And what's cool about a chain stitch is you could actually do, I call it meandering or Aww. quilting. Looks awesome. good. <laughs> so on this side, it looks just like a sewing stitch, but on the back, it's got this really cool chain look. And that's where we can put our decorative threads in our, our uh, loopers and get this really cool effect. Yeah. Okay. The other thing we love again, oops, the nature of this stitch is to make it stretchy or yeah. not super stretchy. Chain stitches don't really stretch but, but your, it, does stretch it stretches a little yeah yeah it does stretch because the chain is actually like a chain it's a loopers mm -hmm. so this one's a combination machine i like a combo mm -hmm. however i really like two separate machines yeah, and actually <laughs> almost ready to buy right yeah i yeah. just bought a yeah, second machine yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because i wanted um i didn't want to have to convert them i love having one machine set up as a cover stitch yeah. and one for uh, surgery. Yeah. And it does save your time because it does take time because, you know, mm -hmm. you need to switch everything. Yeah. But if you have two separate machines, it's awesome. Yeah. yeah. I didn't have room for two separate machines, yeah, you know. Either. So that's why I have just one. I so have I have one, one big one. Yeah. And this one is a little bit smaller yeah, small. than the Triumph. The, Triumph the throat is space isn't so big, um, but it's much more compact. Mm -hmm. um, the Triumph's a little bit bigger. And then the Bernina has the new um, L890, and a Juki has a combination machine. Yeah. And I, I think that's I think it that's that it. we I sell. Yeah. Um, you can oh. find the standalone cover stitch only machines. Janome has one, Juki has one, Baby Lock, uh, Burnett has one. Um, they're a little hard to find right now. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, if you're planning yeah. to do a lot of cover hem, I mean, mm -hmm. a lot of like hemming or chain stitch and other, it's a good mm -hmm. idea to have a separate machine. Yeah. Yeah. So when you use a cover stitch machine, they have a bunch of attachments that you can get to um, work with your machine. And we're going to show you a couple of those. One of them that we're going to show you right now is the bias binders. So uh, I know Juki ha uh, Janome has one, and then these are the baby lock ones. Um, it's called a double fold bias binder. These are actually for knits. You really cannot use the other double fold bias binder that's for wovens. You really need to get this particular one if you want to do knits. So they're eight millimeter, 10 millimeter, and 15 millimeter. Yeah, um, and the one which was, you know, you know, on the market before, it didn't have the mm -hmm. uh, fence. We call it fence. Actually, I call it guide. So you can guide the fabric through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's take it. There <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we song. go. We so have see it. see like how it works. So we actually have a bias strip, and we guide it through the, um, the fence. We call it fence. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's why this binder is better if you were if you're planning to work with the knit i mean you can definitely put some woven fabric like a cotton bias or mm -hmm. cross grain bias that's okay but that fence really helps to get job done so if you want to do something like this marina did this in her class yeah, actually um, had class. we had a class on this a few times not once yeah, yeah. <laughs> and this is all done it's put on with that bias binder yeah and uh this so, is the yeah 
Whoa. Yay. It's all, it's just one step. Uh -huh. You put on the bias binder and it secures it all in one step. Mm -hmm. So this is really, really yeah. great. And you can cut your bias by yourself or you can buy, this is neat. So it's a stretchy fabric. It's a neat. And I mean, you can buy it on the bolt as well. So it's up to you, whatever you like. So these are really tricky and there are some tips for using these type of binders. So we're going to watch a quick video. The bias binder one, not, not mine. Later. Hers. Not later. No, it's not ready. Just, just yeah, just a little later. Okay, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. gotcha. Okay, so, so we have a couple other videos we're going to show you, but uh -huh. let me show you some feet real quick. Um, are there any do you want to switch? The yeah, we're gonna yeah, switch. Let's, let's switch. <laughs> um, let's add some interest to our video. <laughs> So we can dance. So we have um, some six foot kits that you can get for the baby locks and the jukies. Um, all have six foot kits that you can get, or you can buy them individual. Um, they come with uh, several feet. It's usually a blind hem foot. Um, so you can see a. This one is a ruffle foot, a beading foot, lace foot, elastic, elastic. foot blind ham and according foot. So um, these are really great towards me. There we go. <laughs> so a green baby lock is for the eight thread machines and the pink ones are for your four thread machines. So the four thread machine has a few different feet, but they're all pretty similar. So, so which means the, the green is the combo machine. It's a cover ham and surgeon. Right, right. so and eight, this is eight, eight, eight threads. threads. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So a, um, the other two feet that I absolutely love, if you, that are not in this combination, is a Teflon foot. We still see that? I've talked about this one before. It's got a coating on the back, and it just slides over knits. Mm -hmm. Amazing. I mean, of course, we use it for vinyl and leathers and all kinds of stuff, but it is fabulous just for your knits because it's got this, coating on yeah. the back so that's called a teflon foot I'm and then they made it finally because they didn't have it <laughs> my other favorite one is oh, a clear yeah. foot that's my favorite too <laughs> so a clear foot um the baby locks all have a clear foot but i don't think the other brands have this yet and you should yell at those brands because uh -huh. all surgeries should have this foot <laughs> You can see what's going on under yeah. this foot. You can actually match match the seam. Yeah, Just like I, yeah. I couldn't see what was going yeah, on over there yeah. um, under my foot. Yeah. So I highly recommend a clear foot. Um, if your uh, machine, you know, has it. Um, this is the lace foot. And I'm going to show, we're going to show you a quick video on some of these feet. Um, the lace foot has this little ridge right here. And what that does is it keeps the lace away from your blade mm -hmm. and you can adjust it. Now, my little um, machine didn't have a lace foot, so I used the blind hem foot. Um, but the lace foot I like, not just for lace, but for other for, projects. Yeah, you I'm could not, use it for a lot yeah, of other if projects. Need guide, if you need to kind of protect the edge yeah. of your lace, this would just amazing. And I there's a, a screw right here uh -huh. and you can adjust this lace foot. Mm -hmm. You can move the actually guide can either move the to light. the left yeah. or to the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're going to watch a quick video about several of these feet and some of the things you can do with um, your serger that you may not have known was uh, capable. So David's going to go ahead and show that. You can purchase a six foot kit for your serger. And we are gonna look at a couple of these feet and show you how to use them. So this is the lace foot. And the lace foot has this little bar. And what that does is you're gonna line up the lace with the bar and that way you're not going to cut your lace when you sew. You can also adjust where you want the lace. There's a screw right there. So this way you attach the lace without cutting into it. And you can 
change the width and where you want that to stitch it, um, with the little um, screw right here. You can adjust this lever. But this is a great thing to add all kinds of decorative details to your project. Um, stretch lace and even ribbons. So this is a great foot. This is a ruffle foot. You'll see it has a spring right here. And what this will do is allow me to attach a flat piece to a ruffled piece all in one step. So let's do that. So I put my differential feed all the way up to two, my stitch length to four, and the piece I'm gonna ruffle is on the bottom. The piece that's flat is on the top. And you kind of have to hold them both and feed them both. So you can see, here's my ruffled piece to my flat piece. Isn't this make a cute little dress or bed skirt or pillow sham? You could do all kinds of things with this ruffle foot. So the nice thing is, if you forgot how to use the foot, most of these all come with instructions. Let's check out the blind hem foot. Now, a blind hem on a serger isn't really a blind hem. You're gonna see the stitch. It's more a sporty hem, but let's give it a try. So you can do a hem on a serger, but this is what it will look like. You'll still see the stitches, but it does give you an option to do a sporty blind hem. Two other feet I really, really like is the Teflon foot. This is perfect for doing not just vinyl and challenging fabrics, but I love it for sweater knits. It has a coating on the back that just slides right over your fabrics. Another foot I love is the clear foot. Now, not all machines have this foot, but the Baby Lock series does. The clear foot allows you to see what's underneath your foot, and it's a great all-purpose foot. So check out these feet based on your machine. <laughs> this is yours, hi. <laughs> We just completely changed the set. You know, we're all good. Okay. Um, so your the feet are fantastic. Um, I forget how many things I can do with my feet. And so for some of our projects, we will use these feet. Um, and of course, you got to use it. Otherwise, you'll forget how to use it. And most of them are really easy to use. Yeah, actually, you know, I would take my, you know, feet kit, open mm -hmm. up, and it's like a... Uh, you know, like I'm just so happy to see all those feats and it's yeah. actually impressed me. So that's mm -hmm. why it pushed me toward to the next project. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's like, what can I do to use yeah, these feet? Yeah. Like inspiration guide. Yeah. Let's call it inspiration guide. <laughs> so you can get these are the suitcases to hold your feet or any accessories for any machine, sewing, embroidery, whatever. Um, you can get them empty. So this is an empty case. And it comes with a strap, and then we'll do the top view. It comes with all of the holders. So here, you can just put all your different feet in. Um, and then there's like so, a little bit of extra room here, and I just always stick all my threads and my scissors and stuff in there too. So it has you know lots of nice zippers. You can see everything, and these are on sale right now. So we have a coupon on our website um, for all of our cases and trolleys. And so if you don't have one of these to hold all your feet, um, it's really nice. And it's pretty convenient. It's easy to hold and carry a little laptop would fit in there. And, and you could take it to class. That's what if, I was going to say. You know, you need yeah. to take it anywhere. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes you just have so much in your sewing mm -hmm. room. Mm -hmm. um, I just keep all my serger stuff yeah, in my too. case. Yeah, me too. I and I always know yeah, where it's at. Yeah, yeah, it's so convenient. It's so compound. Yeah, so yeah. these are cases. 
you can get them empty or you can get them full. So Baby Lock, we do have a six foot kit, a seven foot kit add on, a 24 kit and a 29 kit for the big triumph um, and accolades and ovations and evolutions. So your eight thread combination machines, we have lots of feet and guides for those. Um, but for the little sergers, we have the six foot kits um, or you can buy the feet individually. And all of those are on sale right now. So presser feet are on sale. And you guys know they are not cheap. Yes. So uh, I always like to buy them when they're on sale. So uh, definitely grab that coupon and you can order them online or you can order them over the phone and give us a call or come in. Okay, any questions about feet? Uh, how was the video? Did you like the video? I was, yeah. uh, it was fun. Um, lots of things we can do. And uh, like I said, we do classes that use these feet so that you'll uh, become comfortable with them. Which machines do the binders work on? Okay, so that's a good question. The binders are an attachment. It's not a foot. It's an attachment. So those are for cover hem machines. So they fit on the table of a cover hem, either um, a standalone cover hem, uh, the Baby Locks, or I believe Janome has one, um, or the combination machines, the Evolution, the uh, Accolade, the Ovation, or the Triumph. Okay, there you go. So those, <laughs> those machines are, uh, will work with the bias binders. Yeah, you just want to make sure that you buy the yeah. right one because this opening, this is how they attach yeah so we actually it's going to be like two screws so you need to make sure that mm -hmm. the one that you buy fits your machine mm -hmm. because this one is baby lock one let's see it's from this package mm -hmm. yeah and this is the table yeah. see the little screws so it actually goes like so see like the you other need to make question. sure that these two opening are you know fitting in this opening mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah so here's yeah. our screws yeah, to attach screws. Yeah, all of the binders yeah that's how it mm -hmm. works so it's you know there is the binders for regular sewing machine as well mm -hmm. yeah but you need to make sure that you bind the right one because this opening sometimes is different they have even wider or a kind of like a crosswise so make sure that you bind the right one and another binder that's really cool is the belt loop binder oh, um, oh. If you see my um, no, apron one, up apron. here, my apron, this was a project we did, and the straps are actually made with a belt loop binder. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even though I'm not making a belt loop, we used it for something else. Yeah, and whenever you see the word binder, it means that it will have some, like a leading, you know, piece where you, you know, stick in the strap fabric. fabric. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's the binder. And that's why we call it attachment. It, it doesn't attach to the, like you, you won't yes. replace okay. the foot with that, you attach it. So you need to have your foot, the presser foot, and you need to have the attachment. So it's like a second tool. Yeah. <laughs> and these are all tools. I mean, there's yeah. so many really cool feet and attachment for your sewing machine. Um, and we did a whole year of sewing with my feet. Yeah. That's what the, we called it because mm -hmm. There's so many feet you get, mm -hmm. and, and we don't even know how to use them half the mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, okay, the awesome. question, Teresa, what foot do we need for the serger class? Which serger class? For the workshop, the workshop we are using the five millimeter cording foot. We will be attaching a zipper, mm -hmm. um, and so we're going to use the cording foot for that, as well as making uh, some piping. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just need your regular foot. I do recommend a clear, clear foot, foot if you have one. Yeah, that would be um, awesome. So it just makes, that's the only foot. For it the just class. helps you. The clear foot just helps you to see when you need to match the, mm -hmm. you know, the seams. It's really nice. Yeah. How clear many foot different? To, oh, we can't see that. Yet. How many compartments in the oh, back? We need no, to count. <laughs> Let's soft count. You can also just get the the um, compartments. This portion. So check this out. Ta -da! Oh, it's got Velcro. Isn't that cool? I didn't know about that. Wow. So now I have a bag that oh, I could just use. Yeah, awesome. And if I wanted to put this in a different bag, I could. So it has um, the large size. 
where you can put the so binder. So it's got two of those. Mm -hmm. And guess what else? So you guys are going to love this. What? Oh, wow. It's all velcro. <laughs> so you can organize this any way you want. You want. So yeah. you have the large the large sizes. This would be for your binders. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have these medium sizes. Mm -hmm. So six of those. And then you have the small ones, and those are in, it's like a in half. half. It's like a half. They stitched out like a half. So I bet you guys didn't know that. Anybody, any of you that have these bags, mm. these all come out. They're wow, awesome. I didn't know about didn't that. Know. No, oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Open it up. That's white. Isn't that cool? <laughs> and that's cool. All right, so you learned something today. So yeah. these are great, and I love this. I love this new style. The smaller mm -hmm. one the I smaller have. One. I have the mm -hmm. bigger square one. I think so I, I have really the bigger like one, one too. Yeah, I think the bigger one. Twenty nine. You can buy an extra one just for your yeah, laptop. just for the laptop. Yeah, for the class. <laughs> for the class. So that means all your twenty nine. Or just all your class notions. Notions. Oh my gosh, we always oh. bring so many notions <laughs> to class. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> awesome. Okay. okay. Any okay. Questions? I'm just Any looking at questions? the questions. I know this is a great bag. I just love it. Mm -hmm. Really great bag. Mm -hmm. And it does say baby lock. Um, yeah. But you cool. know. You can use it for any machine, <laughs> so yeah. even if you don't have a baby lock. Yeah, so are we going to show the video on the binder? What do you think? Is that ready? Is it ready? The binder? Okay, okay. so we're going to watch a quick video on this bias binder because this is very unique, and um, I kind of struggled with it at first, figuring out how to make it work. You just need to know some tricks. There's some tricks. So we're going to watch <laughs> this video that's going to show yeah. us a couple tricks. Yeah, show you exactly how we get ready. I've got my very long strip of fabric, far longer than the length of the neckline. And I'm not going to worry about the little fence, the serpentine yet. I am just going to insert this and get it through the beginning of the binder and into the chute. And you're going to do that with the wrong side of your binding facing you. And it's always good to have your tweezers close by for this part because you're going to need them to get this in. And you're going to use that to move that along in. And you can see at the top and the bottom, it's starting to make the edges curl. And we're going to move that along. You can see that coming out. And here is part of the reason that you need all that extra length. You're going to pull that nice and long, and then you're going to pull it right between those bumpers, right down here. And I like to bring enough length of this binding strip so that I can get it not only past the needles, but past the foot itself. And I'm working at a little bit of a funny angle so that the camera can catch all of this. So it's not as awkward when you're not being filmed. Don't worry about that. So I just pull it through. And I have enough length on the back, you can see, right in back of this. And I'm set up with red thread so that you can see the stitching. Now, I mentioned that the serpentine fence will help manage the fabric, which it will. It does a great job. And you just kind of weave it in between the um, little metal pieces. And you want to make sure, though, that as you're stitching along, that it's not pulling or stretching. There's no tension on that fabric whatsoever. You don't want it to get tight in there. So you do want to keep an eye on it. It's not, it's not hard to do. And uh, I just want to get this little part straightened out correctly and under the foot. So, okay, now you can see, here's that top bumper. Here's the little bottom one that's a little bit harder to see. But you can see already that the fabric is doing that double fold. And the other interesting thing is you can see that the fold that's going to be on the right side of your neckline is just a little bit uh, wider than the underside one. So we're all set to go. And I'm going to 
lower my pressure foot and I start stitching just on the binding itself just to give it a chance to start folding and get itself organized under the needle and that's basically something that the fabric strip has to do itself and that's why you need that extra length so let's just start stitching and you just can stitch at a slow to moderate speed you don't have to go you know super slow but give it a chance okay and I can see from the back I can see that it's starting to fold correctly so I'm ready to insert my neckline so I am going to insert my little neckline and one thing I didn't mention is that when you're doing this on a real neckline on a t-shirt or any kind of a top one of your shoulder seams is going to be sewn already the other one has to stay open and then you'll serge it closed after you're all done with the binding process and I am going to put that in with the right side of this up and um, the binding is going to close over it and again light fingers light touch you don't want to stretch your neckline you've worked hard on your pattern to get your neckline with a nice smooth closed fit so it's very attractive when you're wearing it so we're going to try to maintain that as it's being stitched so and no daylight between the binding and the neckline you don't want to squish it up but you just want it kissing the inside of that binding the engineering on these is just amazing and it's just incredible basically the binding and the neckline know where they need to be under the foot you don't have to watch your needles at all let me get my hand out of the way so you can see the magic. And again, I would like to make a sample first just to make sure everything's doing what it's supposed to do, but I have made samples so I can see from the back that it's doing exactly what I want it to do. light fingers and hands and then if you've got I've actually got when I talk about extra length I probably got another 18 inches here so I don't need to keep stitching that so I'm just gonna cut this binding strip off here And look at that. How beautiful is that? So perfect. Just give it a nice press when you're done and you're ready to go. Fantastic, isn't it? Okay. Okay. Isn't that great. That's a great video. Such a you know great video. So the one point that I want to you know to mention. So uh, when I was teaching this class, we actually had like three classes and mm -hmm. I was teaching how to use this binder you know my girls kind of you know they were struggling but I found the way to explain them how to actually get the end of the bias out of the binder so your tweezers are the best friends <laughs> not seam reaper anymore <laughs> like right now like my best friend is a tweezer so like once you get the you know corner of your uh, strip inside you just need to use your tweezers pick up the you know the corner and just pull slightly so and you need to pay attention to this position because i always teach my girls put this by you know the bias first and then attach your binder to the machine so this way you can control and you can see if the binder forms nice folder so like you need to see two folds because it's a two fold Double fold. double fold, okay, double fold bias binder. binder. That's what it does. Yeah, so you need to yeah. see actually first. You need to put the you know the bias through, and you need to see these two folds first. See, 
Beautiful. Like a mouse. Then you're ready to set it up. Okay. Yep. It's quick and easy once yeah. you get it going. Yeah, exactly. Ah, fantastic. So great video. Um, kind of really explains what this tool does and how much easier it is to put on a binder. And the, being yeah. And once you learn how to use it, you will use it. Trust me. Mm -hmm. You will use it. It's so convenient to use this binder. I love this attachment. So something else we want to talk about is scissors and cutters. So when we're working with knits, they're a little bit different than your woven fabrics. And so a lot of people like to use scissors, but there's some tricks mm -hmm. to using scissors. So Marina's going to talk a couple minutes about that. I don't use scissors. Yeah, I do. I use rotary cutters. <laughs> yes. So I'll talk about that. Yeah, actually, I'm, you know, I'm sort of using roll cutter more and more because of you. Uh, you know, I'm, you know, I hope you know old me. School. Yeah, I'm kind of old school. I'm, you know, I'm bespoke tailor. I'm a seamstress, and I do use my scissors a lot. I have quite few scissors, smaller, bigger, large one, and uh, this is kind of, you know, my favorite one. I do like Kai, mm -hmm. right? That's how you call it, Kai. Yeah, really great. yeah, but I really like this one. We do have it in the store. Do we have a package? Yeah, we have it in the store. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a good, yeah, it's kind of good size, and it's kind of good, you know, weight. So, so because you want at least an eight millimeter yes is your dress is your dress maker maker size. yeah yeah because you want to because if you like me and you're going to cut like all day long like non-stop you need to have something not heavy and the trick is actually when you're cutting you need to keep the lower leg of your scissors on the table so and never cut it in the air okay you need to actually rest your scissors on the mat or on the table and when you're cutting like see like i'm just like gliding so I'm actually not holding my scissors i'm just like resting my scissors on the table so this way my wrist is not get so much pressure and <laughs> weight yeah that's a good angle thank you you're, you. you're not making a mess of yeah the fabric. yeah see like if i wanted to follow that strap you know that line i can easily just navigate the angle of my scissors but see like i'm not cutting once one more time i'm not cutting like that yeah in the ear a lot of people do that They'll yeah lift it up, lift it like, up. Mm -hmm. you can't lift it you have a pattern on here you got to follow something yeah especially if you have a curve right you need to kind of you know like go this way see like how i'm doing and it's quick and easy. So as long as you leave that bottom bottom leg, leg, leg. on mm -hmm. your table or mat. See? Do you like it? Yeah, beautiful. I like it. So once again, trick is just rest your scissors like that. Relax your hand, relax your elbow, relax your wrist, and just go like that. So easy. But mm -hmm. if you're working with need, sometimes using scissors is kind of tricky. Mm -hmm. So the roll cutter. Rotary cutters are yeah. really great. Um, two of our favorites. This is a weighted. I know you can't tell, but this is weighted. This is my it's favorite. Heavy. I love this. And one. that gives it a little bit of heaviness. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't have to use so much strength when I'm. It's kind of know. similar with the metal scissors. Yeah, because the plastic, the plastic scissors, you know, just not kind of good. I don't like, I don't know. Maybe I need to feel something in my hand. Not some weight. Yes, yeah, something. So same concept with this, you know, cutter. Yeah, I really like this. Really uh, like this, this um, the weighted mm -hmm. rotary cutters. cutter. Yeah. So this is a 45 millimeter, which I use most all the time. Mm -hmm. But for garments, I use the 28 millimeter. Because the smaller oh, circle, like the easier to work See with. See how curve. little that circle mm -hmm. is? Mm -hmm. So when I'm curving, I, I can do freehand. With this one, I want to use a, a ruler. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of straight pieces on a pattern. Yeah. But when I get to the neck and the underarms mm -hmm. and stuff like that, mm -hmm. this one is so convenient and it's so easy to maneuver. Maneuver, yeah. And so I really uh -huh. like the small one. Mm -hmm. I do have small too. Yep. Um, for freehand. I call it freehanding. Yeah. yeah. So freehand and uh, straight. ruler. Ru straight. Yeah, straight straight cutting. Yeah. And if you cutting a lot of like a kid's dresses, like a girl's dresses, you know, the mm -hmm. neckline is so tiny. So tiny. Yeah. So there is no way. So once you put this you big, you know, diameter, that. you like, it's, you need yeah. to be able to curve and you need to curve your wrist as yeah. well. So this and that's one, what the little ones yeah, are for. that's the best choice. Yeah. yeah. 
So two so of this. You really need all, two of them. all three. All three. <laughs> <laughs> and all three right now, we have all of our scissors and cutters um, on sale. There's a coupon code. Um, on our website and on that PDF where you can, you know, get a new pair of scissors or cutters. Um, the other thing, I don't know if many of you know, we sharpen scissors here in our um, service department. Awesome. So if you do have a pair of scissors and they haven't been sharpened in a while, mm -hmm. just like a knife, a sharp scissors is your best it's tool. It's your best tool. Yeah. A dull scissors or a dull knife is dangerous. So same thing with your rotary cutters. You know, um, on our quilt fest, you saw we have some blade sharpeners. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I, I just buy new ones, and I yeah. have a rotary cutter <laughs> that's just for paper, and mm -hmm. I use that one with my old blades. Um, so rotary cutters and scissors uh, are, are really great with your knits. And they're on the sale, right? And they're all on sale, on sale right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love your tip about that, Marina. What? I always oh, lift you. mine up. It's like <laughs> no, habit, no, 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 and no. then your pattern gets all long. Old school girls. I was taught this way in 1994. And this knit <laughs> is very substantial, but I like slinky knit. Yeah. I like too. the silky mm -hmm, stuff mm -hmm. that moves all around, and so which is why I like the, yeah, the cutters. The cutters. Yeah, so, there's no way. Even me, like it's so hard to navigate with the scissors, you know, on the top of the slinky knits. Slinky yes, no, 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 no. Need, roll uh, cutter. Rotary yes, yep. Okay, okay so good. we're gonna move those off. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll talk about a couple more things, and we're kind of sharing things that um, are surgery related, but also things are on sale. So I want to talk about Tudo bags and carrying bags. So. This is a Tudo serger bag. And check it out. It folds flat. It's all metal. You can take it on the airplane, right? Well, yeah. I wouldn't put your serger in there unless you carry it on. Yeah. But it's all metal and it folds flat like this. And David's going to pull it up online for me. Yay. So we can just leave that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so. This one I really, really love. It's got a lot of extra pockets in here. You can actually access your tote from the side. I hold it. Um, which is on the other side. Other side, yeah. There's but so many sides. David's <laughs> going to actually pull it up. Oh, yeah, that's never fine. mind. That's why. Yeah, that's, yeah. It's so fine. you can put your serger in this bag in the top, or you can put it in in the side. And so Chudo is really fantastic. Um, and the wheels, these are 360 um, turning wheels. Rotation. Mm -hmm. Rotate all the way. So the weight of your bag is substantially mm -hmm. on all four wheels. On the whole wheels. Yeah. Uh, mine is like you pull it and it's on two wheels. Yeah, my two. Yeah. And I don't like that. Mm -hmm. So this one I really, really like. And I like um, those metal corners. Look and at I this. love all love, the corners. Look, it's like a metal piece, actually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, awesome. and I love that it folds up because yeah. you know, we're not, not always sword. using mm -hmm. it, mm -hmm. um, and and it's a great size. It's a square, so you can buy these for all your sewing machines and embroidery machines. But these specifically for sergers are square, right? They're mm -hmm. fatter mm -hmm. than your typical sewing machine. Um, so do we have this one that we can pull up on our website? All right, you guys, welcome back. Let me get me back on the screen. How did you guys like that little class today? I hope you all enjoyed it. I know I saw a lot of comments about, um, I didn't know you could do that with a serger and certain things like that. So it was always fun to see you guys learning something new. Um, but somebody did ask, will that Triumph fit in a Tudo? Yes, there are certain Tudos that are larger, smaller. So depending on what machine you have, um, there is a Tudo bag out there that can fit for your machine. And also you can also get a larger Tudo bag, even if you have a smaller machine and you can fit it in there and also fit like notions and things like that. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I'll use a Tudo. I have one at my house. If I'm not using it for other things, I will use it and like take it to the beach. You know, there's, there's so many different uses of it. Just, just letting you know. But definitely for the sewing machine, it keeps everything so safe and protected. And there's different slides open in it. And you it's just, it's a really great bag to definitely invest in, especially if you're traveling a lot with your machine. I know sometimes people will just take the machine and set it in their car and, 
and be on their way. And sometimes, you know, to each their own, but also if you want a little extra protection, it's so awesome to invest in one of those bags and they last so long. But I just wanted to show this to you real quick, um, the accolade. So if you didn't know, I had it in the comments, but there is a free bundle going on with the accolade today. So if you guys were interested and wanted to invest in a amazing combination machine, this is probably one of Candace's favorites. She's always chatting it up about the accolade and she could she could teach you all day long. So if you're local, go take some of Candace's search classes as well. Um, but with that accolade, there is a really, really good deal going on with that bundle and the feet, you're gonna get some free feet and you're getting 17. 17, I'll let you, I'll let you process that. 17 free feet for you with that accolade so you once you get that machine you can just you're off to the races and you can start using all the different feet um you know the blind hem the ruffling all the different feet are in there um so you can get started and take your surging to the next level or take your projects to the next level especially with that um top stitching and just the professional look that it gives it's so amazing especially if you um, are making clothing and giving it to people. It's such a great way to step up the quality of your projects and your clothing and the stitches and all that. And I could just go on and on. But why don't we do some giveaways today, right? Right? Let's see. Let's get into it. Let me get this up on the screen. Let's get some music going and let's do some giveaways. Okay. So our first giveaway today is going to be dun, 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 one of our so mats. So if you are looking for something to protect your machine from or protect your table from your machine, or um, let's see if you have a machine that's maybe a little loud and vibrates a little bit, and it's just kind of maybe a little moves too much or you just need it to be more stable definitely look at one of these mats they are so so great and i even use mine for as a pin cushion so isn't that awesome right um let's see i want to know what you guys are using them for so let's see put in the comments what you guys are using them for if you have any specific uses for them um you can do so much with them i mean you can even put them in your kitchen or in your dining room whatever the list goes on and on um but oh my goodness my computer's freaking up but let's see who is gonna win one of these special masks today we have so many different colors we have two new ones one is aqua which is so pretty and another one is the cherry blossom so so many different options if you have a theme to your sewing room definitely look at one that will match with your sewing room but let's go ahead and see who is gonna win one of these so much so let's spin the wheel let's see let's see every time i poke a pin i'll think of you yes there you go there you go <laughs> let's see all right congratulations pew 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 is that how i say it please correct me if i'm wrong please but congratulations go ahead and pick out the size that you would like and the color and head to smplive.tv it's right below right down there to claim your prize and we will get that on out to you okay our next giveaway today is going to be a 100 dollars gift card so if you saw any of the feet here today and you have a serger and you want to try some maybe the double um bias foot or the the binder or the clear foot teflon foot whatever you're looking for the cutting supplies this is such a great way to get stocked up and get a hundred dollars off your order so let's see who is gonna win today's hundred dollar gift card giveaway let's see let's go <laughs> let's see let's see scott gabbard gabbard again i'm so sorry if i'm pronouncing your guys's names wrong i'm so sorry but congratulations you have just won a 100 dollars gift card so go ahead and head to smplab.tv put your info in there and we will send you that gift card so you can get shopping okay so my last giveaway today is actually down here so let me take this off real quick and i'm gonna open up this box and I'm gonna do one, two, or three. So you guys are gonna help me pick my giveaway, okay? So pick either, put one in the chat, two in the chat, or three in the chat, depending on which one. This is real time. I wanted to do a very special giveaway today. 
my little Mary Poppins box. I'm reaching down here. So somebody pick either one, two, or three. So I'm seeing threes. Okay, threes, twos. Okay. Should we have Kyle be the deciding factor? Because I'm seeing a lot of the same numbers. Should we do, come over here. Should we do one, two, or three for the giveaway? There's either a one, two, or three in here. So maybe I'll give him a little sneak peek. So here's the one. Okay. Okay. There's the two. Mm -hmm. And then there is the three. One, two, or three? Two. Two? Okay, guys. We're going with two. But if you guys like this, yeah. If you guys like this little pick your own giveaway, I'll keep doing it. But this is just special because we have it here. So here is our final giveaway today. And I'm so excited for this one. So if you didn't know, oops, I almost, I almost spoiled it. If you didn't know, we have merch. So you can go to our website and shop and get some t-shirts, pants. There's some really cute pajamas on there. Just saying, they're really cute, got stripes on them. Perfect in time for Christmas. But there's tons of things on there. Our little mascot is there, which I still need help naming. If you guys have any ideas, let me know. Let me know. We had a town hall SP Nation meeting the other day. And we need we need more names. We need to get some names. But this is one of our tote bags. So look at how cute that is. So it's just a black, simple tote bag, and it's made with, I'm pretty sure it's like eco eco-friendly cotton and um, some sustainable materials are being used to make these little bags. But if you look, it says, oops, let me get this out of here. It says, sewing is my therapy. And it is so adorable and you can fit a ton of stuff in there. So if you were looking for a bag today, here we go. So let's see who is gonna win. And you know what? I'll throw in an SMP pin. We'll put a little pin on there and ship it out to you. Okay, let's see. Who's gonna win today's little prize? Dun, 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 dun. Everybody needs SP swag. I'm telling you. It's so cute. It's so cute. If you follow our Instagram, you saw Kyle the other day with the bag. Angel Ball, congratulations. You have just won this adorable new black tote bag. So, congratulations. Oh, of course, I have it on the wrong side. And a cute little SP pin. So, Go ahead and head to SMP Live to claim this bag and we will go ahead and ship it on out to you. So that way you can start getting your SMP swag and your merch on and people can ask you and you'll say, it's Sewing Machines Plus, right? See, isn't that great? <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm so happy with today's giveaways. That was so much fun. Nice little way to switch it up a bit, right? Right? <laughs> All right. Well, I think that'll be it for me today. But just letting you guys know, check out the the accolade. Um, make sure you guys are signing up for our emails. Submit something for SoFest. I'm just going down the list here. I'm thinking in the brain. Scan and Cut University, October 12th through the 15th. Check that out if you want to get more comfortable with your Scan and Cut talent and technique. Let's see. What else? What else? What else we got? Tomorrow... SMP Live Thursday, 10 a.m. This is rapid fire announcements, okay? SMP Live Thursday, 10 a.m. We're doing a baby lock showcase with the Accord and the Sashiko. And the Sashiko is a very unique machine, very one of a kind. Um, I don't think there are really any out there besides the Sashiko. So definitely check that out tomorrow. Friday, we've got um, tea time with Amanda Carita and Heidi from So So English. So we have a great week still lined up. We're still going strong, and I hope you guys will join us and hang out with us for the rest of the week. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and take off. Have an amazing rest of your Wednesday, Wednesday, <laughs> Wednesday, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, y'all. See you later.